again, um, once again, I'd just like to thank the Joe Committee for inviting me for the first time here in this prestigious event. Um, I prefer to talk in English, in spite I could talk Deutsch too, but it's actually not that easy and fluent to speak um, or to conduct a lecture in Deutsch. So, um, I'm actually um, very interested uh, to speak about a few new concepts in clear liners, the way we treat our patients and the way we apply new techniques in treatment in general. Um, I might not have added photos for cases uh, because many of the techniques that I will show you today are actually still in progress. Maybe by next year actually we will show some very good cases and very good results for you all um, if I have the chance to uh, conduct uh, a lecture uh, once again here. So, um, the topics that I want to talk about actually take quite some time and I'll try in 10 minutes which is the time available for me to explain things quite fast and to show you quite fast um, all the concepts that have been implied in uh, clear liners lately. So this is me, actually I am uh, located down in Düsseldorf, I'm not in Dortmund. Uh, when I applied for uh, this lecture, it was in Dortmund. Anyways, I had the chance to be involved in uh, a business part and also the clinical part which gave you the chance to see how all the process just goes on right from the start where I see the patient till the impressions for the files uh, go to the company which produces the aligners and I've seen it all from the start till the end which made me actually very curious to improve the techniques or improve the concepts where we treat our patients now, first of all, I just want to ask you all just one question, or I guess each of you should ask yourself the same question. Since Align Tech in 1997, 1998 introduced clear liners, or let's say the digital clear liners, now, what has improved since then? Well, actually, the improvement was just only like in the software to be updated. It's not like a real huge um, change in the concept of treatment. It's actually the same treatment, but we're just not like, updating from time to time. So we changed attachments. Yes, we changed like the shape of a liner. We changed the material of the aligner and a few other changes. But actually, the main course of change has not yet come. We have not yet seen. Now, this would show that um, since phones have been introduced, it has been evolving from time to time till the iPhone just hit it all when it came to the market and just changed the whole concept of clear, I mean, sorry, of technology or for mobile phones. Um, I guess by next year, or let's say within the next two years, many changes will be applied to the way we treat our patients with clear aligners. Now, the concept that I will be showing you today they are not yet, let's say, like, applicable to be working right on, but it just puts us on the way of knowing how will the future will be in a couple of years later. Now, let's go just a couple of years back and see how things were. Now, definitely we all know the manual technique or the manual method uh, introduced by Dr. Kim and uh, Shoi Dental um, a couple of years ago. And it was based upon the three different thicknesses for aligners to um, move teeth. Align Tech introduced Invisalign, and Invisalign was actually a huge step in um, the world of orthodontics. Also, K Line has introduced its unique methods, which I would like to thank uh, the team in K Line. Uh, the R&D team because they've done so much work in cooperation with uh, other companies too, like Nextent in Netherlands, uh, which actually helped us so much to introduce new materials in the world of clear aligners. Now, the basic concept, which we all know in the digital clear aligners uh, nowadays, which is that you take impressions, you send it to the company that makes the aligners with other data, like x-rays and whatsoever, and then after that, with company does that it just moves teeth segments teeth and then moves them to the final um, 
shape that we want or the final form. And then it just prints a lot, I mean, sorry, prints models, and then on these models using the pressure molding TFCA technique, just, just directly makes the aligners, and there you go, you have your aligners. That was the technique that, let's say, like most companies out there that you've been seeing, you have been seeing, so they all use quite similar techniques to that. The most recent method nowadays that we have been um, trying to do our best to develop, which is 3D printing directly the aligners. Now, I won't talk much about how it's fabricated because all of me here, we're just, yeah, we're of the office, we just want to know, okay, how will this affect my treatment? not how is it fabricated. That, that doesn't mean a lot to us. But it could be quite astonishing, first through going throughout a video, a small video to explain how things are first. We'll start once again for the music. That's what made us today what we are and we be. What you see is an aligner grafted to perfection, a unique engineering system to define the mindset we use to manufacture clear aligners with, an epic change in orthodontics and the world of clear aligners. So, yeah, actually, this girl's just sitting right here somewhere now. Anyway, so, um, the new concept of 3D printing aligners, which is the aligner I'm holding here in my hand today, um, if anyone wants to see it exactly after we finish, um, maybe you could take a look at it. Um, many have asked me, Dr. Candle, the problem is that the material is brittle. We, we heard about 3D printing the aligners itself, but the material could be quite brittle. But how could this give like enough forces or let's say how do we get the elasticity, enough elasticity? Now, I know that the material is not yet perfect. We're working on this material with, um, with our partners and they're developing very soon within about six months. This perfect ideal material for um, ideally, biologically, reproducing the movement that we need. Now, what is this for us as now orthodontists in our practice? Now, the very interesting point, which is that now when we use these, uh, when we use this concept, we could actually control every part of the aligner. Let's say, for example, now we we have this um, quest all the time, or the challenge all the time, that we want to move teeth bodily. Okay, we want a better biological response. So, how could we control better biological response? through 3D printing aligners. It's all of the software itself that when we make the aligners themselves, we start to put like some impingements on some areas, 
which are quite at the cervical parts, we could increase the thickness at some parts and decrease the thickness of some parts. Even when you have like this problem where that I only see my patients, this transient open bite from time to time, um, what I do is that in the software I could just level, um, let's say the closest surface, yeah, almost done. Oh, okay, I'll just run quickly within a minute. Can I, can we, okay, all right, so. Uh, moving quickly, so um, these were actually the advantages from using 3D printing for liners. Uh, definitely it has um, better control and also cuts labor margin. Moving quite quickly through slides to make things quite fast. These are from Extend. This, these are aligners that have been fabricated directly through 3D printing. As I said again, it's a, it's a huge subject to talk about. So other techniques quickly are as well CBCT, virtual reality, air pumps and lingual aligners nowadays. CBCT, as many have uh, heard it before about that uh, you could yeah, like extract the models or the teeth directly from the CBCT, the 3D cone beam from the patient and then um, later on using uh, software like Anatomage to, um, to use it to move teeth. Uh, virtual reality, I guess it's, um, yeah, all that we've seen before, whether it's like whatever company you've been dealing with, all these on the software are virtual reality, but it's gonna be quite different. Uh, I don't think we'll have time for the video. So, yeah, that will be like Ghostbusters. So this is from a company called Aerodentist, using air to give um, transit forces. And finally, um, a company called Inti from France, they have introduced something very interesting in my point of view, which is lingual aligners. And these lingual aligners, they have, you have these uh, brackets, lingual brackets, which fit a series of aligners on to give the movements very, um, yeah, in, in the sequence as normal as you know. Uh, at the end, I would just like to say that um, very soon we will be introducing something that might change the world of orthodontics, not just clear aligners, which is the dimension of time. Um, very soon we will be introducing one, this. So. <laughs> oh, look, so. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, this is it. So um, I hope we see us once again next year, and uh, hopefully we'll introduce the cases and the new dimension of time and orthodontics. Thank you very much.